Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 from a... <laughs> Oh my God. It's too early for this. Listen, it is too early for this. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I am in the midst of the 2024 purge, and this is for myself. This is me cleaning, decluttering, getting rid of everything and all things that does not serve me, doesn't bring me joy, it's collecting dust, I'm not wearing it, I'm not using it. All the things has got to go. Before February 1st, my bedroom will be done in its entirety between the closets, organizing my closets, my bedroom, all the fragrances, drawers, whatnot. So that's where we are today. We're on episode five, I believe. If I'm not correct, I'll put the episode here. And we are on fragrances. We're on the top tray, the top shelf, rather, of this particular cabinet. All right, so this is my last cabinet, y'all. And... Truth be told, I could probably wear Middle Eastern fragrances every day for the rest of my life and be satisfied because this, at one point, is what I used to wear. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I think what I'm going to do on this one is go as fast as I can, kind of like touch on the fragrance if I need to touch on it. But for the most part, if I feel like it's something I'm iffy about, I'll put it to the side, sniff it later. Then I'll come back and tell y'all if I kept it or not. I really don't need to keep this because I have the Parfums de Marley fragrance, but I feel like this one's more denser last longer a little bit stronger but the scent profile is extremely sweet to me so i'm gonna put it to the side we'll think about it this one right here i can't think of the name of it it is from the top but it is dense it is syrupy it is beautiful it is so good however if i keep that one i would need to get rid of this one because i feel like they're the same scent i feel like they're so close in scent this is from swiss arabian and this is the oil with a glass dropper. But I feel like, I feel like they're so close. They're so dense. It's almost dense like, like date and syrup and oud. I'm not sure, so I'm putting it to the side. We're definitely keeping this. And this is uh, Nebras from the top of Beautiful Cookie with dusted chocolate on top. This one right here is, I forget what this is called. Uh, Mayor, Mayor, M-A-Y-A-R. Okay, so this is a beautiful, fresh, spring-like fragrance. That only, I keep forgetting my wrist hurt. The only thing about this one is, yeah, it's watery, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's f like, uh, almost give me the same feel I get when I smell my way, but lighter and fresher without the tube rose. Or, what's that other one? Okay, we, we're not doing that today. All right, so, I don't know if I'm keeping it. We'll come back at the end. We'll see. All right. We're going to make these quick decisions. We're going to toss and go, toss and go. This is Rock Bar, and I'm obsessed with Rock Bar. I love this. We'll always have this. It's probably my second bottom. I love the scent. This, this scent right here smells like a royalty, baby, like a prince, like an Arabian prince. This one right here is called, um, it's not Quaid. It's, I think it's Quaid. I forget how he pronounced it again, the guy at the store. Oh my god, this is so beautiful, so sexy. It has saffron and oud. It's not for me, it's definitely for a man, but I'm keeping it because I love it. I spray it on my sheets sometime in the winter. This is exclusive rose. This is a dupe of the Carolina Herrera, I think, burning rose. So I'm keeping that because I really love that one. This one I probably don't need. This is exclusive saffron. I have only worn this out once. I feel like it's more masculine, but I'm gonna let it sit. And we're going to come back and talk about it, okay? Let's put that one over there. This is Kofi, baby. One of my favorite fragrances of all time from the Kofi line that JC made. And I'm keeping this. I'm, I'm keeping everything of his. Let me put my coffee out of the way. This is Making Love. This is I, probably my top fragrance of all his fragrances. Definitely keeping that. It just smells like coffee and syrup and waffles and the night. The morning after, okay? This is King George. I love these. That's all I have of these is love. So, definitely keeping those. And I will be using those because I enjoyed them. And I'm going to... I feel like the longer I keep them, the darker, the deeper, and the longer they last. So, yeah, it is what it is. All right, so... I have some duplicates from when he rebranded and added a few more things into the fragrance line. And this is Your Sweetness, a beautiful fragrance. I say this one smells like... You can't get it, so there's no need to tell you. But it reminds me of that candy, that dry candy you used to wear, like around your wrist or your necklace, those candies, and you kind of suck on them, like, like almost Valentine candy-ish. That's what it reminds me of. I'll keep it because I like it for the uniqueness of it. I don't wear it, though. Um, this one right here is just Call Me. 
This one is so good. I think this is the one that has plum in it. The only plum I've ever been able to wear that doesn't spike pickles on me. This one is, um, love is like a, love is like a itching in my heart. This one right here, oh God, all these smell amazing. All these have like coffee in them, so they're very unique. Um, here's the last one. And this is my backup of Making Love, my favorite fragrance of all time from JC and from the coffee line. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move over to these. I believe some of these you're able to get, the ones I'm going to show you right now, actually on his website. If they are available, I will link J JC down below his um, um, Kai Fragrances. Uh, that is his new line that he's uh, has launched in the past year. He is no longer affiliated with the ganache brand this is orange moon a beautiful fragrance yeah all these all these are like <laughs> fire oh my god hot like fire all these still here oh girl that's that cotton candy right mm, that's made after jill scott so all these are fragrances that he created in line with uh popular songs from artists like from the 90s or from like just one point in time. Justify your love. Listen, this is that uh, caramel and oud. Oh, yeah, see, nothing, nothing compares. This is Ascension, uh, which is like the song from Maxwell. Now, all these bottles are like uh, influencer tester like bottles, but oh, this is the one of the best tuberoses ever, ever. And I've had, only had this fragrance for a couple months. You see that? That that's proof, proof, baby, proof, proof. So he actually made this fragrance and sent it to me for me to test, try, and play with. And I loved it so much. I only wear it every once in a while to bed. But this is so, y'all, this is so unique and so good. I can't put my finger on it. I think I'm going to play with it tonight. Anyway, let's slide these over. We have a few more from that line. The ones I would definitely suggest is still, if you like sweet candy like scents, I would just, I would suggest Ascension if you like tuberose. Be okay. It's pretty good. I don't think it's one of my favorites. I'm over to the side. I think this is the one I'm going to give my son. I think this is the one that has that citrus, burst, lemon, lime at the top. So we'll move that to the side. Natural just reminds me of Shea Butter Baby. Like back in the day when people first started doing like natural hair and all that good stuff. It's light. It's beautiful. It's it, But it still has this creaminess to it. I love it. Brown skin. Y'all not ready. Y'all really not ready. Hold on. I keep forgetting. We're going to come back to this. We're going to come back to this. Hold on. All right. So, Rebirth of Slick Rick. I want to say this is another one I think my son would enjoy. So, I'm going to put it to the side and we'll spray them later. Don't go this thing. Um, Love is like a dreamer. Obsessed. Baby. This is the one. It's fresh and it has something in it that I like to wear this at the gym. It amplifies when I wear it. It just smells clean. A little citrus. A little baby powder-ish to me without the extra sweetness, I believe. I don't know what's in here, but it also smells like a clean baby wipe with citrus. Like, if you just sprinkle a little citrus on a baby wipe. I mean, don't do that, but you know what I mean. Oh, my goodness. This one right here is Lost Ones. Um, you see, I've sprayed all these. Like, as many fragrances as I've had. Oh, this is good, too. This is, like, citrus, like, fresh, whatever, too. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to spray this one. Maybe I'll see if my son wants that one. It smells more um, unisex to me. Uh, really into you. This is Raspberry Beret. I've talked about this one too many times. And y'all, this is, look how dark it's getting. It just smells like Raspberry Laffy Taffy to me. Then it has a hint of something in the background. Reminds me of walking into a bookstore to look for old records. But you have that Laffy Taffy. You chewing it or you popping some gum that smells like it. You got the Afro Puffs with your bell bottom. That is so good. I love that. I've says, this is No Ordinary Love, of course, from um, inspired by Sade. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, how many times I have to smell these? I mean, I just, I love these. And when I say I love these, don't explain. I love these. These are, like, beautiful. If you like orange blossom or if you like that banana flower, please go check up all these because I, I definitely recommend every last one of these. Um, I feel like these are the more, like, crowd-pleasing ones. More people would like these than those other two I just talked about. That's why I left these up here. So, the two I said I wasn't so sure that people would actually is the lost ones 
and it's another one. I don't know where I put it. I put it over here. Um, it's not don't go because it can't be this one. Oh, girl, these are good. Mm. Okay, let's put these away. Yeah, it's don't go. This is the one I think that um, people will smell this and and think more of unisex, I believe, than this feminine. Yeah, so this has this. Oh, God. This has, it smells like clean, like cleaning products in the beginning. But then it goes into, if you like that smell of like clean home or something. These two right here are old. These are like Ganache fragrances. This one right here is called Cozy. I've had it for a while. I'll probably just uh, get rid of it. You know what it smells like? Uh, it smells like home. I'll probably put this in my diffuser in fall or winter. This smells like what you would think of at Thanksgiving, like the cinnamons and spices and whatever. So I'm going to put this downstairs in the cabinet. I have all these home scents I'm trying to keep. So I remember to spray these in my diffusers. Because y'all know I put like three or four sprays per water. Like, you know, whatever required the water for your diffuser to diffuse around the home. And because he has, most of his fragrances are mostly oils. The oil content, it works good in diffusers. All right, so this one right here is Gold Couture. Yeah, I've never re even really worn this because I don't have a sprayer. So I'll smell this and see if I even want to put decant this or not. Someone asked me to show how to decant. I'll do that in one second. This is just a little tester bottle of, uh, oh, it's called a mini, of Guerlain. All right. Now these, I wasn't a huge fan of these because they were so different. I think when he first came out with these, JC, this is from, um, this is ganache, but this is when he went with, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing with these. I was confused, okay? I was so confused because all I, I remember was Gourmand. Gourmand this, Gourmand that. And then he started making fragrances that were based on, like, the old school, um, like, Motown, like, kind of singers or whatever. I learned to respect the power of love, me, myself, and I, cigarette in the rain, I refuse to be lonely. This is that other bottle of that big bottle he sent me. That. And this is Aranan, Aran, Arando, Arandano, Arandano. I don't know. Hold, please. So for me, these were um, these were new introductions for me, right? But I feel like the newer line that he has is is beast. It's, it's it's fire. This was like I'm dipping my toe into it. Damn, this not good. I'm not sure of myself. Like that's what this kind of smelled like when I first smelled these. Dang, this been sitting. What's in here? This one's good. Wait a minute. Oh, they've been sitting for like over a year. Damn, that smells good. What is this? This definitely has like either tuberose, jasmine, some orange. This smells amazing. All right, so I missed one. All right, so this one right here is called Hug. This is also more of a fall scent. Yeah, this smells, this smells good. Dang. So you know what? He he is good, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this is half of the second shelf. The other half is sitting down here. You'll see it in a minute. So let's start with the oils. I'll probably keep all these oils. These are from um, Swiss Arabia. They don't have any perfumes in it. I like to mix these with my um, almond oils, like my body oils. Look at this. The top came off. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Oh, honey, we're going to have to hot glue you back. We will hot glue her back. She will get her crown and glory back. Okay, so anyway. um, Wow, I've had these for years. Uh, These two. Anyway, so I like to keep these. It's that dark, deep, central, like, ooh, Leali with some flowers. This one is a beautiful floral one. It smells floral, like spring. Yeah, spring, but almost like um uh, a luxe soap with some florals. That's what this one smells like to me. And then I can put these on top so I can remember to put that on. These are the newer ones. This one's much sweeter. Kind of reminds me of. Um, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. It's, they all smell like like a luxe soap to me, like but with fragrance or something. And they're extremely long lasting. So I love these. And this one is Leali Rouge. And this one is Eulali. So I love these. They're very affordable. They are Swiss Arabian. And like I said, Swiss Arabian uses oils and not those um, alcohols. So we'll put that back on. 
All right, so this is a hotter main, one of my favorite fragrance lines in the Middle Eastern um, genre. So anyway, this is Blavich of Femme. This is inspired by Creed Adventures for her. I'm obsessed. I love it. I, I just love Creed. And I've decided to add a few to my collection. You'll see that video soon. Then I have Lavender from Aha Main. This is the male version of like Creative Ventures for him. This is the newer one. Um, for like I would say not the newest one, but <clears throat> this is not the old one when it was stronger and like right at the same level to me as Creative Ventures for him. My son, both of them have this, so I'll keep this one for myself because I told you all I will wear this. I love the men's version of Creative Ventures. This right here is, I cannot pronounce this, shark, whatever. I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to do that. This is strong. This is like, um, this is the strongest fragrance I've ever smelled in my entire life. And I'm finally going to get rid of it. I've worn it and I literally can only spray one spray and I'm, three sprays I'm dead. So I'm going to put this to the side and we're probably going to just, <clears throat> I don't even know what to do with that. I don't even know if anybody wants that. <laughs> Girl. All right, so this one right here. Oh my God. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> what is going on? All right, I guess I'm talking too much. All right, so this one right here is Ioni. Ioni. And this is from All Hermione. And this is the only one that's like in this type of bottle or whatever. Girl, this is like, it's like cake. What's that, what's that fruit cake? This is like dense fruit cake to me. Super sweet, syrupy, dense fruitcake that's been sitting in Marshalls or TJ Maxx for two years. I'm going to donate that. <clears throat> Some of these fragrances were purchased just to review, just so you know. This one right here is our Hermain, and this is Amber Oud Ultra Violet. This is a beautiful floral fragrance that I can definitely get down with spring. And, oh, yes, this is good. It does have hints of that tuberose and that powderiness, that depth that you get from Gucci Bloom. <clears throat> but it doesn't have like that um, honeysuckle like I would get from Gucci Boom. Yeah, it's missing something. But anyway, um, that's why I don't really equate it to that. But that's a beautiful scent. We're definitely keeping that. We are definitely keeping the um, Amber Ooze. And this is Tobacco Edition. This is the one that's inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco Benin. That's always why I don't have Tom Ford Tobacco Benin. It's because of this. This is good. I don't need a lot of this. This is good. It's amazing unisex fragrance. I think everyone should have that fragrance. Especially if you like like the the woods and the um, the spices and the tobacco and that sweetness. Definitely go get that. This is Amber Oud and this is the white edition. This is inspired by um, Mademoiselle. Right? Chanel? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to put this to the side. So I'm, I'm, I'm only going to keep one of these. There's another one I have that smells like that. All right, so this one right here is Amber Oud Rouge. This is when Rouge was like the ish. Do you hear me? This is when, this is my third bottle. When, so now they have another one that's different from this. But this is inspired by Maison Lines. The Maison Francis, um, what is it? It is the extra version of Bacard Rouge. So yeah, this is all I have left. So I just kind of hold on to this. Because, yeah, it, you, you can find this bottle for like 70 bucks, but the one that's something else that's the red bottle is cheaper. But it's not the same, y'all. It's not the same, just so you know. All right, so this is inspired by Bitter Peach Time 4, and this is Bright Peach. I have to wear this in the spring only. It's so cloying. This is like the dense, strongest freaking fragrance. I think, I, I mean, this is, let me tell you, the Maison Alhambra, when, he, when they came out with these fragrances, they, they just went overboard. They went overboard. Yeah, it's that dense, dense, syrupy, thick, almost earthy peach. But I like it because I grow peaches. So it reminds me of like the, the stems, the sticks, and whatever as well. So this one right here is Rose Petals. And this is inspired by Tom Ford, too. And uh, Rose Prick. But I wear this with the LaBelle from Jean Paul Gaultier. I wear these two together. I don't have any more LaBelle right now, but I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to smell it. Love and Cherry is my favorite when it came to the dupes of Tom Ford. Lost Cherry. I know this is like my second bottle. I bought everybody one. The girls, my sons. I, I love this. I just, I'm kind of over it now, but I almost feel like if I get rid of it, I'm going to be like, like sick. Like, where's that fragrance? Oh, maybe we use this as a home scent. 
Maybe we'll use this as a home set because I can see me want to wear it for home, but not out because I feel like I smell this out a lot. Okay. All right. So, Woody Ooh, y'all know my favorite fragrance from Tom Ford is Tom Ford um, Oud Wood. So, yeah, this right here. <laughs> what well, next to, I don't know, white suede or Oud Wood. Okay. Oud Wood. That's my jam. So, I got everybody one of these. If my son is out of his, I'll give him this one when he comes down. But, oh God. Uh, he has the original. But, yeah, that they did that. Neroli Portofino. That is that fragrance that I couldn't think of the other day that I packed in my luggage, the Tom Ford original fragrance. And this is the dupe of it. This one actually lasts longer than the original. I probably should just decant some of this real quick so I can take it with me. All right, so this one right here is uh, Club Derby. And this is Armoff Gold. Girl, this was like so cheap at one point, like $10. And it went up to like 20 something whatever's in here uh it's comforting it's more of a nighttime bedtime scent i think i have a million bedtime scents but i don't really think about bedtime when i think about like millie's and fragrances so i never really come to this cabinet to grab something but this is a really good fragrance i think i'm just gonna leave out on my tray at all times for when i just want that smell yeah i don't know what's in here definitely like a vanilla and some powderiness and some hours or something so i'm gonna leave this out for my tray someone asked me if i'm still doing the perfume trays perfume hauls all the things ma'am we, we, we're still at go we're just adding on the purge but we're still at go all right so one of my favorites oh my god one of my favorite fragrances from the Tafa is opulent red this is my second bottle the other bottle i just tried so we're keeping her she's weird she's different she is intense she is saffron leather she is all the things with suede i'm obsessed with her this is definitely a male fragrance and i need to see am i keeping this one or am i keeping this one which one is it like out of these three out of these three, I need to see. I don't need three. I don't need a lot of male fragrances. I really don't need a lot of male fragrances. I almost feel like if I gave my son one of these, like I don't need all three. <clears throat> I don't need all three of these. Even though they're three different scent profiles. So let me just put them over here. I want to say though, I want to say, mm, girl, it's the saffron for me. Oh. Okay, so I'll probably give this to the youngest one because uh, the oldest has the original that this is Dupin. I think it's Sauvage. And this is Assad from Latafa. This one is Opulent Black. No, Opulent Oud. It has the Oud in it, the saffron or whatever. So I'll probably give this one crisper. And I'll keep this one. All right, there we go. Because oh, it's something about this fragrance. After I cleaned my room on a cold day and sprayed my sheets and my blanket. Oh my gosh, my God, I had a whole man in here. Mm, but God. All right, so this is Opulent Musk, a beautiful fragrance. I just feel like this is the lighter, more airier version of this. But I feel like this doesn't last as long as Opulent Red. I don't even know if I give it the chance to last as long. So I'm going to wear it a couple times. If it doesn't, I'll get rid of that one too. All right, so let's move on to this one. I never wear this one. This one right here is Yara from the top. Of, I'm going to call my girlfriend and see if she got this one or not. Wait a minute. What is these? I mean, all this stuff has been sitting here, and I feel like as long as it's been sitting here, I'm smelling something different. Like, what is going on? Oh, my God. I used to smell Fritos. I used to smell Fritos, and now I smell like melon and something else. I don't know what that's about. Okay, move this to the side. I have like 20 fragrances to the side. I'm definitely keeping. I'm not keeping this. I'm not keeping this. Um, I bought one of the girls one of these and for Christmas and the other one was like, I didn't get one, so she's going to have it. I'm going to give it to her. If I ever feel like I want to spray y'all or I can go in her room, I know she would use this and wear this. So, that's that. So, let's move this over here. All right, real quick. Someone asked me about decanting fragrances. If you're already in the fragrances, you probably already know this, but I'm just going to touch on this really quickly, right? So, you can go on Amazon or there's a lot of places now you can purchase these um, decamps. Um, containers. These are fragrance travel friendly containers. You can get one that's long like this. You twist the top up and then you can just spray, right? Um, they have, they hold, depends on the size of the bottle, they hold a different amount of sprays, but definitely enough to last 
for travel, right? Okay, so you open it up, and this is what the, the fragrance looks like, and you twist this top off, and you can just spray directly into the bottle, or you can use a small funnel. I don't use the funnel it ever comes with. I just spray into the bottle. I don't even know what this, this one smells like, um, metal -y. So, I just spray into the bottle like this. I've been doing this for a while, so I normally get it all in the bottle. I never have a problem with getting it in here, but they do have funnels. When you order these, you can get the funnel and go with it. But anyway, so this is quite a bit. As you see how many sprays I'm spraying? Like, if you're going to use that many sprays, then okay, but nine times out of ten, a lot of times people don't use these up. When they travel, they just use so many sprays, right? So, put your top back on. Now you have a travel spray to take with you on your vacation. And you have to worry about anything breaking, leaking, or anything like that, right? So, instead of taking a full-size bottle, when you're only going to use so many sprays. So, now we've done that. I'm going to show you they also come in smaller sizes. Sometimes when you order fragrances from companies that you can ask for, like travel sprays or samples, and they'll send you one like this or whatever. Or you'll see them in stores. Like this one's already decanted. Um, I don't even know what that is. This uh, That's actually Tory Burch. This is already decanted, ready to go. Like, if I ever want to use one. You can also go on, like, Fragrance Net, Scentbird, all these different companies sell these now. Lux X Beauty. And they come like this. And it's normally a decant or travel spray of a popular fragrance. Like, this one is Serge Luton. And it is, um, Du Bois, some, 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 something I don't really like. All right. But it's in here. But you can always, if you don't like it, you didn't use it all, pour it out, wash it out, uh, throw a little vinegar in there, rinse it out real good, make sure it's clean under some hot water and re-decant something else. Okay. So that's basically, I'm going to take this one with me, what a travel spray is. A quick tip, if you are traveling, um, if you don't want to get those, these are normally cheaper. These little, uh, they're like two mils or five mil um, sprays that come. You can spray them in here too, and they come with the top. These are the plastic ones. Uh, don't take these if you're traveling. The glass ones, they're cute and all, and they come with little gold tops. I don't even know what the top is, child, this one. But anyway, don't take these. I, I break these every time. They're real thin glass, and if you put this in a bag, like a makeup bag or something, you'll have to break them and crack them. I've done that one too many times. This is Roberto Cavalli, but um, yeah, I have a bunch of these as well. All right, so let's get into the next. Well, we got to finish up row two. Child, when I get to the women's shelter, they're going to be like, man, what is all this? We don't, we never even heard of this stuff, okay? So this is Casablanca, one of my favorite fragrances from Sister Raven from the beginning of time, from when they first came out with this fragrance. I've been rocking this for years. I'll keep this. It's a beautiful apple, sparkling like apple scent to me. I feel like this one's a little bit deeper and darker, the new one they came out with. And this is the essence of Casablanca. I feel like the longer it sits, the dark it gets it still has this sparkling apple aspect to me like fall bobbing for apples type of situation with a little caramel or something but this one is uh has is muskier to me i'm gonna keep both because i'm gonna keep playing with those this is from um jc this is summertime from the coffee line obsessed with this i don't even know why this uh, i cannot yeah i gotta put this up I wore this a lot uh, recently, so I need to put this away. So let's get into our mouth. Our mouth is a beautiful fragrance line as well from the Middle Eastern side of the world. And they're known to be potent, strong, long lasting, beautiful dupes or um, just good clones, girl, clones. So this one is Club de Nuit Intense. This is uh, inspired by Tom Ford, Noir de Noir, baby. Let me tell you. This smells like what the bottle looks like. This is intense. This is dark. This is deep. This is sexy. This is grown woman. This is <laughs> whips and chains. This is so good. I wonder how much have I really used in here. If I could see this bottle on the inside. You really can't see. But anyway, this is strong. And <clears throat> I hardly ever wear this. I probably need to get this up and get this out of my uh, collection. I just It's hard to get rid of this. And I don't know why. So we're just going to put it here. Um... Armoff Imperial, one of my favorite fragrances. This is beautiful. This is this is like a mixture of Delina, Delina exclusive, like all in one. And this is good. This is like at one point I was wearing this so much, I just had to stop. And I'm actually going somewhere today, and I'll probably be wearing this. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'll probably be wearing it today. This is Armoff. Uh, this is Club Date Nuit Women, which is both of these have the same scent profile, so they're both to me inspired by. Um, Coco Mademoiselle, right? Right. And 
This one I've had longer and I feel like it's like sat a while and kind of got a little bit more darker and intense. It's actually to me a little bit sweeter than the original like Mademoiselle. This one right here is like a fresher version. I don't think I need both of them. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, I don't think I need both of them. So I'm going to play with both of these and see which one I'm keeping. Is this a crack? Oh no. Sun is darker than the other because I've had it longer or whatever. So yeah, we'll see. We'll compare those two and we'll see. Definitely keeping Sublime. Still love this. Still a beautiful, fruity, like fragrance. It's so crazy when you look online, this is marketed for men, but I love this. I, I just really like this. This makes me smile. All right. So it still smells like strawberries and cream to me, even though I know it's not what it is, okay? This is Infinity Rose. I love this as well as uh, Body Out Oud. And this is Amethyst. So they are not the same. They're definitely different. Um, don't let the bottles fool you. This one right here is from the uh, Mesa Alhambra line, and this is from Latafa. And uh, yeah, they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. Like these are beautiful Middle Eastern fragrances, like floral and um, unique. But I, I'm sure they smell like something. But this one is, yeah. So the whole rose thing, steeping rose tea like thing with oud and musk or something. I don't know, but this this is good too. I'm keeping all these. Keeping those, can't get rid of those because I actually wear those. This is Swiss Arabian from, this is Shaka Food from Swiss Arabian. I've been wearing this for years. I don't even remember when I first got my first bottle. I do remember when I got my first uh, tester set and it had like 40 different tester bottles in them. And that was about like six or seven years ago. And ever since then, I was on this huge thing about Swiss Arabian. Swiss, I mean, I would never wear anything else, but all their oils and fragrances, I was obsessed. So, definitely keeping this beautiful praline oud. Oh, God, this is good. This is good. All right, and this is the summertime version. This is um, Swiss Arabian, but this is Shag Off Woman. But this is like the spring, floral, fruity. Yeah, this is like all those fruits. You know how they do all those fruits in the Middle East and fragrances, but it's not dense and thick. This is more fresher, so I'll keep it. All right, so since we're keeping it real, <laughs> uh, my bingo stick, I have a couple of these. I actually used to use when I go on a cruise. Uh, yeah, I have a ornament, which is an elephant. I know it's my favorite thing of all time is elephants. I, I just cannot get rid of him. I love him. Anyway, so I got a corner left of this um so Janeiro. so this is a uh, brazilian crush <laughs> it's literally a corner y'all what in the heck this i take this on every vacation it is what it is and i i don't i don't even want to pack it because it's literally a quarter but i don't want to put it in my cabinet either so yeah this is from zara this goes back in the day zara fragrances remember I, I had like 40 fragrances and i gave them all to the girls and since then they've used them but this is the one i think people were saying was reminiscent of alien and, yeah, I, when people say that, like, oh, that's my alien, I'd be like, what do y'all smell? Because, like, to me, nothing really smells like alien. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, it's going. It's going. It's the last one I own. It's gone. All right, so pineapple from Demeter. I love these. These are just fresh, fun scents. I just wear these, like, to the gym. Definitely keeping that. All right, yeah. Random flashlight. The power will go out. If you know, you know. If you live in Texas, then you know. I have gum. It's not even for me. It's not even for me, just so you know. I ain't true gum. This is uh, Roberto Cavalli. One of my favorite scents. This is so good. I picked this one over Nishani Tuberosa because I actually think they're the same fragrance on a dry down. <laughs> and... That fragrance is a hundred and something dollars, and this one was like twenty. Y'all, this is so good. Don't sleep on Roberto Cavalli. Please don't sleep on it. All right, so this is an intentional oil, and this is um, it's quite expensive, y'all. It has like these roses. It's intentional. I I never even really use it, but I love this oil, and um, yeah, look at that stone. Y'all see that? actually has a like box it goes in i probably should leave it in the box i mean it's in a dark cabinet but i probably should leave it in the box this is what it is so yeah i um, love these oils keeping that and then these three right here because the other one 
and I'm giving away the bigger bottle when I told y'all I had ordered it. This one is Vanilla Cafe, and this is from the Super Pacific line, Vanilla. Um, this is Vanilla Vanilla. Y'all know I love these. They just don't last long, but I'm keeping them. I'll just wear them. Just throw them in my bag or something. And this is Vanilla Cocoa. Obsessed, obsessed. Obsessed. This right here is a lighter version of the Mancera's um, Roses Vinny. That's what this reminds me of. I got this from Millie's store here. Fragrance store. And yeah, I really like this. It's just a lighter version. So when I want to have that smell, but it's too heavy for me at night or too heavy for me in the summer and spring, I wear this one. And this one's called Nakbak Aoud. N-U-K-H-B-A-T. Nakbak this one right here is something I found on Etsy when I was trying to support the smaller businesses. This is called Ice Coffee. This is another one of those fragrances that I think, oh my God. Yeah, so this smells just like a coffee I would make for myself, like espresso roast, like top of coffee with a, a good dense cream. Um, this is going to go in that cabinet for my fragrances for the home. I'm literally going to take... Who is this by? I think if you go on Etsy and just type iced coffee, you'll find it. I'm going to put this in a cabinet so I can put it in my diffuser going forward. This is Orostana. These bottles are so huge. So they have two other ones I wanted, but I just never ordered. They smell amazing because of all of this. I think this is too much. I think it's too much. I really just want to keep this part, but I know like, you need a top. Maybe if I just find a gold top that fits. Yeah, so this is a floral fragrance, pink and floral. Almost reminds me of um, that other one I just sprayed from the uh, All Hermes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Are these two the same? Oh, these smell like. These smell like this is more, has a little bit more fresher, watery aspect to it. This is more floral, but they kind of smell like, God dang it. Almost like another fresher, um, with added fruits version of, um, Gucci Bloom. I didn't even realize these these smell like. Okay. I want to keep it because I really like this scent. I like this scent. These are the, some Dossier fragrances I have. Um, these are some intentional oils I picked up from the uh, store in uh, my girl in New Orleans. Um, I love her oils. They smell so good. And yeah, I use these for bathing. I just keep them in a dark cabinet because, you know, you want them to last. And you don't want to expose them to like the temperatures in the bathroom or whatever. But these are good and quite expensive. So I'm going to put these at the bottom of my cabinet. All right, so more stuff from Ganache. We have, um, oh, this one's open. No strings attached. And then we have Dios de, I don't know, Chile, I think. I need to. Mm, girl, I could drink this. <laughs> I need to, once again, go through all these. I'm going to waste this on my sheets. And this is no strings attached. Oh, my God. All right, so you know what? I'll probably just order some of those cute little perfume spray bottles from Amazon and just dump these in there. Or see if I can find some of these sticks that go in here with the spray. So I need to go through all these. Of course, I won't put these back in my cabinet until I do. And I, I just reuse these all the time, so there's no telling what none of these scents are. These I need to go through and see if I'm going to keep these or not. Uh, or wash them out and re, you know, decant some other stuff or whatever. Yeah. Um papitas because she get hungry at night and I don't like to eat junk so this is my junk and then I have this other that Fendi I don't even know if there's anything in here uh, am I keeping it for just the, the little the thing over there yeah all right so this is another tray and this one has like the some more girl decan samples this is why I was saying I need 12 weeks to just get rid of stuff. This in my room, my bathroom. This is what I mean. I have a lot of stuff. Y'all see big items, but you don't see the little items that is like behind the scenes. And it, it's quite it's quite a bit. I'm not going to lie to them. I've already gone through Dossier, I think, at one point when I did the Dossier video with you all. So I'll probably be keeping like most of that stuff. But um, we'll just see which ones we have. 
this is just a random box I, I did start keeping my boxes uh about two years ago so they are in my garage but i don't need this box because uh, that fragrance is almost empty all right so we do have is this broke oh no it goes like this oh cute this is off non and <clears throat> Off Nine is not one of my favorites when it comes to Millie Scent Houses, to be honest. I do like some of their bottles and some of their scents. They're just not as strong and as potent. Not, when I think of Millie and Ferguson's, I like that punch and I want to keep that punch. So this is probably going to go yeah, to someone. I don't know, my daughters or, or someone else. So not me. All right, so um, Dark Cherry from Banana Republic. I do like this scent and I like wearing it for a bit sometimes. So this is another one that's beautiful cherry scents that does not smell like uh cough syrup on me so i'll be keeping this one and then we have this is oud blanc from tet lap it's a beautiful oud fragrance and this is really good like it smells in the bottle everything about it feels quality and um yeah i definitely have worn this a couple times but it doesn't look like it doesn't smell like 20 dollars. okay <laughs> let me tell you but she's keeping that one um this is nostalgia for me this is juicy couture and this is like the like the original back of the day juicy like this is old y'all this is so freaking old but i love this it's that probably grandma two bros that people would say but this is when everybody was rocking two bros in an earthy woody way and i still love it and when i wear it y'all i get compliments so people be like what is that I'm like girl old school old school old school juicy couture <laughs> I'm going to keep her because she uh, brings joy to me and it's good memories attached to it. And this is Chocolate Musk. I always have a bottle of this. I've been wearing this for years now. I will, I will, and my kids with us too. So when they're out, I just give it to them for them to use. This is Ajmal. This is another one of those fruity uh, fragrances that reminds me of that Swiss Arabian women's fragrance. But this is... Um, mm, so this one is Entice. So I do like this for summer and spring, so I'll keep this one. Uh, this one's another one that I got from Etsy. This is called Spice Spiked Mocha. Another one's coffee scents. Y'all, I was in my coffee bag, you hear me? And yeah, this one's good. I'm gonna use this one as a home diffuser as well. All right, so this one, everybody's familiar with, Fancy. Um, and this is from Jessica Simpson. And this is a beautiful caramel, fresh, like clean girl, fresh, like, Probably teen girl scent, but <laughs> girl, why do I like this? This is, I like this. I'm going to put this in the girl's bathroom, but I know they will wear it. These are um, actually like CBD oils. One is like for energy, one is for nighttime. And they're quite potent, to be honest. And I don't know, one has like lavender and one's like citrus. They're from Equilibria, and I love the scent of them. I need to use these. Let me figure that out. Let's see how we're going to use that. This one is Lavanda's Tree and I'm just a little bit left in here. I love this scent. This is from L'Occitane and this is Rose. One of my favorite like traveling fresh summer scents. River and Neroli. Okay, so this one I need to get rid of. Yeah, this is more, this is that their own scent. I need to get rid of it. I never wear it. See, I never spray it. I need to get rid of that one. Fiery Leather Rhubarb. Okay, this is that other one. Yeah, I don't want this. I don't want this. No matter how many times I spray this, I don't want this. And I'm not keeping this to just review or anything like that anymore. Yeah, this is leather. But this is like, um, it reminds me of a, a like a leather truck, like with some dirty old leather boots in there. And, um, and he's wearing oud or something. I don't know. Spicy Orchid, which is the inspired like Black Orchid, Tom Ford. I told y'all this is like the best one dupe for me. I've smelled this for uh, keeping that and powdery heart on one of the best dupes of Metally from Tom Ford ever. Obsessed. All right, so this one is Foriano Coconut, and I think this look at this. Why do I have this in here? This is inspired by Tom Ford. Um, you know, the um. Mm. Oh, this Celebrant. Excellent. But this is from, is it Armoff? I think this is Armoff. And it doesn't, I'll spray it and test it and see. But um, I'm going to test all these off screen real quick and come back and tell you. But I've worn this and I swear it lasted like 30 seconds. So we'll see. So I totally forgot about the fragrances that are on my tray and the ones that's in my bathroom. So let's just kind of real quick. 
This is a uh, lavender rose. Definitely keeping this one. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. But this is the um, I Am Trash from um, Atelier de Orange. I know I'm keeping this because it's by Gem Scent now. This is the YSL Leap I'm supposed to be using up. This is the other one I'm supposed to be using up, which is just a corner now. I think the tray is going to be like Ferguson's. I need to use up real quick. Uh, there will always be a you obsessed with this. I, I don't know what to say. Rock by Wood Intense. I love this. This is just the intense version. It's more woody, more uh, leaning on the masculine side of Rock by um, Mocha Woods. I love this one. It's a beautiful scent. Definitely keeping this. Amir Al Oud. Y'all know I love this scent. Beautiful scent. They say it smells like um, Mason uh, Replica Lime by the fireplace, but it doesn't smell like that for me. But I love this scent. It's from La Tapa. This one right here is Camera. Am I going to get the other Camera? Y'all keep asking me that. Probably so, y'all. Y'all already know, but I'm just in the midst of cleaning and doing some things right now. But this is Camera, and it's a beautiful cognac-like scent. And, oh, my God. I would say this is my favorite fragrance from the top of, uh, besides Opulent Red. This is definitely at the top of the list. This is Oud for Glory, which uh, is a dupe for... Um, oh, for greatness in this show. This is this is her. This is like $20, y'all. This is like the best scent ever. Like, there's hardly nothing in this fragrance left. But I, I love it. I like anything with saffron. This is, I'm on this saffron thing for the last couple years, and I'm obsessed with it. This is Armov Untold. And this one is leaning on the lines of Papa Rouge 540. But it has that muskiness, that Armov thing they do in it. Yeah. Love it. So, definitely keep that. So... I'm back and I'm dressed. I know this video is extremely long. <sighs> They're like the same. So I'll probably keep um, our moth and then because there's more left in here, I'm, I'm actually about to go somewhere where it's going to be quite a bit of ladies there too uh, to watch the game. So I'm going to take this and see if anybody wants this when I get there. I was thinking that's best for me just to pack them up today and take them with me. And if anybody wants anything that I take, they can have because... Um, that way I can hurt and get them out of my house. All right. Yeah. All right. So definitely putting this on the girls tray. Both of these went back over them. Yeah. If I want to smell either one of these, I can. And I'll probably smell this on them. They really like this one. Fancy. Okay. Um, all these are going downstairs for the home sense. If I see anything else over here, I think it's home sense. I'll put them down there. There are a few over here that might make it to that. But yeah, I'm just putting this in my bathroom to use like for bedtime one night just to get rid of this like little corner. I do know for sure that these will go. I don't think any of the ladies there would like any of these scents, but I'll pack them if they don't like them. We'll just drop them off to um, probably Goodwill. I don't even know if anybody in women's shelter would. These are strong. I, we all have our own set profiles that we like and love, right? So I get that. So what I'll probably do is just, I don't know what to do with these things. <laughs> these are strong. So between the two of these, I'm going to keep the Wade, a Quaid, or whatever you call it, from the top. I love this man. I love this man. I love this scent. It's definitely male scent. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is, it's strong. It's very strong. It's not something I would like really wear a lot. And I have the original that is a decant of it, like a five mil, maybe, is it five mils? It's a lot. And I think it's enough. This is just a corner left. This is trash. That goes in a trash can. This one is that Sunny Vetiver that I said I don't think nobody really wants. I know my son doesn't like this. Oh my God, I just smelled sunflower seeds. I just smell sunflower seeds and citrus or something. They roast it like whatever. Yeah, this is I don't I don't like this. So yeah, I don't like this. I don't know what to do with the ones. I just don't like. I almost feel like I don't like it and I don't want to give it to someone else thinking I don't know if they like it or not. That's really weird how I feel about that. This is so dark and dense. I was just sitting here thinking, would I want to put this in a diffuser? Um one day. This is gonna be all over my room. It reminds me of date syrup. You know how, like, Middle Eastern fragrance with a little hint of must, um, with sweetness and dates, like a musty man rolled in dates. I don't know, but I know that smells weird to you. It sounds weird, but it makes sense to me, and I don't know. I'm going to keep it. 
I don't, because I really don't know about this one. Um, this one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I'm going to put this in a pile to take with me to see if any ladies want this one. I'm definitely going to take this one, see if my sister wants this one. She'll be there at the game today for sure. If she wants this one, she can have this one since I have the um, other one. All right, so this is going to Christopher's room. I love this scent. I, you know, I'm, I'm tripping. I think he has one, but oh, maybe it's Garrett that has one. I'm going to give this to my brother-in-law. I'm going to ask him if he wants it. I'll see him today. And this is going on my tray. The Armoff um, Derby Gold. Yeah, tray. <sighs> I went to take the top off this to smell it. And I just wasted it all over my room. So, okay. We'll know what it smells like when I get back. <laughs> this is definitely for my son to try. I'm just going to do a basket for him. He needs to tell me if he wants these or not. Um, if he doesn't, I'll just, you know, I don't mind gifting him. But, um. All right, so the rest of these are ones I need to like decant to see what they smell like because I'm not pouring these out to smell them. Hold, please. So I have a bag of these and I'm just gonna decant like as much as I can of these. And they just won't have any names on it, but it could be for the ladies to try and have fun with and sample and spray. If they just wanna, you know, have some sprays or whatever. I do have the um, funnel and basically what I'm gonna do is um, just funnel these in here and that way I can get rid of these bottles today and just drop them off and it'll be like, you know, it's like a, a bowl of candy, but I just have a bowl of fragrances. Or when people send me fragrances, I like to send like samples or have my friends try them because I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys smell this. So the only kind of like to have them smell it is to put them like this because if you don't and you put them in like the travel sprays and it's too much and they don't use it, then it's a waste, right? So at least this, this could be something like for car scents and stuff like that. So I'm going to decant all these real quick and close off this video. So that is it. The only one left is this one to try, play, and sample. And I'll probably play with this today. Um, This opulent uh, musk. We're going to see what these smell like and I'll come back and um report to you all so anyway thanks for hanging out me i'll see you on the next video i'm hoping the next video is actually a haul in between me uh putting everything out my closet my goal is to finish off my closet by monday so i am trying to film and upload a video a day this video is probably over an hour long uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me if you stayed this long please put me a heart in the comments so let me know um you, you're just sharing the love with me i appreciate y'all and i just wanted to push forward and just kind of get rid of the fragrance thing and so that way when i go forward and buy more things i feel like um i've gotten rid of things like i said you have to let go in order to, re to receive like let go of some things get rid of some things in order to receive the things that really is for you right whether it's a relationship whether it's things people whatever sometimes you have to let go let god and then that way the things that come to you you know, the things that will flow to you that's for you, basically. Whatever you put out, you receive. So I'm, I'm putting out all this love, all this goodness. I'm sharing. I'm gifting. I'm giving. And in return, I know God's got my back and I'm going to receive even tenfold. Okay? See you on the next video. Peace and blessings.